Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 5 Diploma in Event Management. For this unit you will need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should wherever possible use examples of information, budgets, costs and accounts relevant to event and hospitality activities. In most event and hospitality organisations, the accounts and budgets for the overall set financial period, for example April to March, will be presented in similar format to that used by most business organisations, but for each individual event, which are in effect standalone projects, a format similar to that used in project management is commonly used. Most individual events will be expected to make a profit and can therefore be expected to have a final accounting statement that is similar to a standard profit and loss account. Section 1. Here you need to describe the different cost types such as fixed, variable and semi-variable and explain why certain costs are allocated to each cost type. For example, rent would be classified as a fixed cost. For bullet point 2, you need to briefly describe the different costing methods such as job, standard, activity based, service and batch costing and explain why and in what circumstances or types of organisation one would be selected rather than another. On the next bullet point you would need to briefly describe the different techniques used to calculate costs such as absorption, marginal and cost plus and explain how to use each one ideally with one actual example. And finally, you will need to describe how and in what situations you would use techniques such as sampling, break-even and cost-benefit analysis. Section 2. On the first bullet point, you need to show, using a real-life example, how you would prepare a cost report, gathering data, selecting a report format, presenting the data, explaining variables, implications and making recommendations. Often known as key performance indicators, you need to give examples here of how these are used to maintain standards, quality levels and cost levels, and also how they are used to generate improvements, such as when lowering the allowable wastage rate or raising the targeted customer satisfaction level. On the last bullet point, you will need to describe a workplace scenario, ideally one from your own organisation, and recommend appropriate actions to bring improvements such as find lower cost suppliers, automate processes, lower wastage levels and introduce quality management systems or procedures and performance indicators. Section 3, bullet point 1 is really about the importance of managing operational income and expenditure activity in line with organisational strategies and objectives which includes forecasting, planning, monitoring etc over a set period. Give an example from your own or a selected organisation of this budgeting process in action. Ideally using the whole or part of your own organisation or one that you can research, very briefly describe budgeting methods such as incremental, zero based, programme etc and select and justify one of these. And following on from the previous criteria, describe how you would prepare, that is gather data, forecast, plan and implement that budget. On the last bullet point, for many small organisations the cash budget is the budget, but in larger organisations a cash flow budget is often prepared as a sub-budget, dealing only with literally cash that is received from sales and lodged in the bank, then consumed by operational activities. This is usually linked to a cash flow forecast. You should explain how, for a reasonably complex activity area, you would prepare one of these budgets. Section 4. On bullet point 1, you will need to briefly describe the types of variances, what might cause them and recommend action that will eliminate or minimise the variance. For example, if office equipment maintenance costs vary widely from month to month, then appropriate action might include staff usage training and or renewal of equipment and or a planned preventative maintenance schedule. On bullet point two, the operating statement is simply a reconciliation statement listing actual income and expenditure against budgeted or forecast income and expenditure. 
Select a period of at least one month, ideally for an activity area within your own organisation or a suitably researchable one, and prepare a statement adding comments and explanations where appropriate. And on the last bullet point, ideally using your own organisation or a suitably researchable one, identify a responsibility centre, sometimes known as cost centres or profit centres, uh, describe it and then prepare a simple report on its current budget performance. If appropriate, you can use the findings from the operating statement in the previous section. Responsibility centres are not always labelled as such, but they do exist, so if you're not sure, you could check with your line manager or finance department. Here are some useful websites you should refer to when preparing this assignment. And if you need any further help or guidance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.